Okay, so the game for me, and this is the I'm gonna give you a little backstory real quick. Uh I remember playing Diablo with my buddies, just sitting there running Diablo solo campaign on the same PC. We'd each take our turns playing the game. And we'd play the same game. We wouldn't like play two different versions. We play the same game. So I'd do one dungeon, then I'd back off the PC and my buddy would jump on. He would do one dungeon and be listening to Disturbed yeah. Down with the Sickness the whole damn time. It was we played Disturbed Down with the Sickness on repeat while we did the dungeons in these in, in Diablo. Okay. Yeah. And it was absolutely a blast. And it was so much fun. It was it was a great game. And the game that has let me down the hardest. And it just keeps building it. I keep getting so much more animosity towards this fucking game. Diablo 4. Diablo Ooh. 4, in my opinion, has been the worst game I have. And I am so mad at myself for fucking buying it. I I'm bought sorry, this bro. game. And I will not touch it. Unless one of my buddies is like, hey, you want to go and play Diablo 4 for a little bit? I'm like, yeah, sure. Because I like playing the game with my friends. Not because yeah. I like playing the game. But if they're like, hey, let's go play Diablo 4. I'm like, fuck yeah, let's jump on it's Diablo 4. Friends, it's, it's the, the friends, friends aspect. But the game yeah. itself is so fucking bad, in my opinion. And I am so mad that I went and I bought it. I am so mad that I bought it. And that's, and that's it, it sits there. And I'm... I Every time I... It, I don't think about it. Then when someone brings it up or I talk about it, I get so fucking mad and frustrated because I'm like, you fucking piece yeah. of shit. Why couldn't you be yeah, better? I, I get it. But yeah. that being on the other... Now, there, there's a flip side to all this. There's a flip side to all this, guys. And you know what that is? Came out, I'm going to ask you right now. What game have you been so enthralled with? What game has been so amazing to you that when you started playing it, and it can't be fucking Destiny, all right? That's not Destiny. You got to pick another game, no, no, all right? No, we're good. We're that good. you started playing and you were like, you know what? I'm happy. I'm, I'm excited. And you just lost yourself in the game. You lost yourself I, in the game. I would honestly have to say that the, the one that I was not expecting at all was Ark. And, and we mentioned this earlier. Yeah. I... I fully went into Ark expecting it to be terrible because the first time it was terrible. And Jay was like, I'll, I'll kind of help you yeah. and everything. We'll figure it out, dude. And it got to the point where like, like I was hosting a server off my Xbox, right? Yeah. And it was fun. We, we could kind of do some stuff, but you couldn't go too far from each other or else it would rubber band you, you know? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and it was really hard. And so eventually we found out how to do our own server. Um, because we try to jump into like the live servers yeah yeah but every single server we could find everyone had built stuff on there so you couldn't uh you couldn't find, do anything like, you couldn't build anywhere yeah you know because the area was taken over uh and like everyone would kill you instantly like like no one would give you a chance to do anything and so when we finally found out how to do our own servers we started doing that and just kind of playing with friends yeah dude it was so much fun and then here you come a little while ago and say how you were thinking about playing Ark. And now I'm getting TikToks about Ark left and right of the new <laughs> one. And now I'm itching to play it again. Uh, and I don't want to buy the game. And so never in my life did I think that a survival game would be fun. And then I start playing <laughs> with friends. And I play, I, we played through so much Ark and then we played through Grounded. Like, so much fun. Now, 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 now I like it, dude. All right, like, so. Ark, I'm waiting for Ark 2, dude. I've got to wait like almost another year for it to come out. Yeah. If they don't delay it again. You so know? Ark 2 is what I'm probably going to get. I'm not going to play Ark Ascended. I'm not going to buy the game unless they bring it to Game Pass for free. So you don't have to worry about yeah. that right now. Because. Okay. Because. Um, okay. So lately I've been playing a hell of a lot of D&D. And absolutely loving it. It's been a lot of fun. And everything like that. And for some reason I didn't get Boulder's Gate. Okay. Because. Mm -hmm. Um. I thought it was one of those, it was, it was, it was very Diablo-esque. You kind of build a character, you run around, you kill a bunch of stuff, you loot, you run around, you kill a bunch of stuff. I didn't think it was as much D&D &D inspired as, as it is. Because the last yeah. Boulder Skates I've played were on console. So when you played them, you ran around, you killed things, you looted the bodies, you ran around and killed things, and you just kept going until you fought the, bo the bosses. Just like in Diablo. That's why yeah. I really enjoyed them. Now, I got it for PC, and I've been loving D&D &D so much that I got it for PC. And I started playing it on PC. And I'm going to tell you right now. A game has not encaptured me as much as Baldur's Gate 3 has in years. Nice. And when I say years, I'm talking it's taken 
the number one spot. I think about playing Baldur's Gate when I'm at work. I think about playing it. I like it. It has absolutely become the number one game for me to play. All like, okay, here's 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 a for instance. I never get to sit down and play video games all day long. That's not a thing I get to do yeah. anymore. It's just not. I would right. love to be able to spend a day, like a six, seven hour day. And so I don't get, to, I can, uh, don't get me wrong. I game throughout the day. I do. And I'm able to break off an hour here, hour there. And that happens. But to actually spend an entire day doing nothing but playing video games. So last Saturday, my wife was quite sick. Uh, she was not able to take care of the kids. So I called into work and I was like, hey. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make it in today because we have no one to look after the kids and my wife is incredibly sick. Like when I say so sick, I called in at 8 o'clock. I told her to go to to go and lay down in bed and and sleep and and get some rest. I went downstairs with the kids. I set one of them up on the Xbox. I set another one up on the Switch. I kind of told them like, hey guys, we're just going to hang out here. We're going to leave mom alone for the day and we're going to play video games all day long. That's what we're going to do. Right. And they're all like, okay, but I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, that's not going to happen. I started playing Boulder's Gate at about nine o'clock in the morning. And before I realized it, it was 6 45 at night. <laughs> yeah. That's how you do it. Yeah. Before I realized it. Now, don't get me wrong. We stopped. We, I, I got, right. I door dashed for us to eat some food. We ate downstairs so we didn't go upstairs and bother mom. Uh, mom slept all day long. When I say all day long, I mean, she stayed to, like, I went to bed at like one in the morning and she was still like in bed sleeping. Like that's how sick yeah. she was. She needed that much rest she just to get better. better so like, oh, she's feeling much better now. But that that's how bad that's how bad bad it was. Like that's how sick she was, right? So she yeah. didn't she didn't even see the kids go to bed. She none of that stuff. She was literally that. So I I I did all that with the kids and I spent the day with the kids. But we spent the day gaming and I haven't done that in freaking years. And the fact that Baldur's Gate was able to give me that that breakaway and actually let me like just just sit down and relax like that is unreal. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it's one of the it's one of it's one of the and probably the only reason why I'm upgrading the graphics card so I can get better streams happening on thing. Because I believe I truly believe like don't get me wrong, you can get Baldur's Gate for the console and soon it's gonna be released on Xbox here very soon. So you'll be able to get it and yeah. we'll hopefully be they'll have crossplay come and you'll be able to play it and everything like that with us and everything like that. That'll be super awesome and amazing and absolutely a blast. But I'm telling you right now. Baldur's Gate on the PC is the only way to really go because that mouse and key kind of feel when playing that specific kind of game is just mm-hmm. it's just what it it's just what it's meant for. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, no, I, I get it. I get it. So yeah. Like if you're gonna play like RuneScape or something on Yeah, it's a, it's it's wouldn't feel the same. It doesn't feel the same, right? So Baldur's Gate is my game. I did not like you said with a with Ark, I did not expect it. To come in and and play that role, I was like, I did and not buy it. Above, yeah, punched above this weight class for what I thought, man. And and uh, and and I'm just saying though, like I'm, I was not expecting. I knew it was gonna be a good game. I just didn't know if I wanted to play it. Right? I didn't know if yeah. I wanted to really buy it and play it. And because the only time I could, the only way I could buy it at the time was on PC, and I didn't want to buy it for PC. I wanted to buy it for console, yeah. but it was taking so long. So I was like, but then I saw my buddy Goatman playing fucking Baldur's Gate. I was watching a stream. He was playing Baldur's Gate and having. A blast of it. Then I, then I realized it wasn't just hack and slash. It was turn-based combat. It was actually rolling to see if you 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 make it through a, a specific save that you need to make it through. It was actually like D and D legitimately in a game. And I don't know why I never clued that together, but that's it. That's what it was. So at yeah. the end of the day, man, like like we've had this conversation before. What game lets you down and what games surpass your expectations? I'm gonna tell you right now, Boulder's Gate surpassed my expert expectations tenfold, and I would not be surprised if I turned into uh a main state Boulder's Gate playing fanatic. I would not right. I would not be surprised at that at all if that's the one game that I played mostly. 